So everyone, welcome to Sanctuary. What is the episode number? Uh, we are up to Lucky 13. Lucky 13, okay. Depending on which country you're from, whether it's lucky or unlucky. Now Ben, um, we have a visitor. I think you need to wear your tie. Really? Probably. Don't, don't you? I always forgot it. And then I was, um, because we've got Kathy in the house. Yeah, we do. Kathy in the we house, do. that's right. Kathy in the house. Kathy in Sanctuary. Welcome Kathy. Thanks very much guys. Um, yeah, I was nervous. I thought I should shave, and then I thought, what if I cut myself while we shave? That's it. And then I was just bleeding over the local oh, yeah. member of parliament. You do not want to come in here looking like no, Norman, no. Gun- Norman Gunston. With, no, no. With we want our politicians tissue. to yeah. leave you know? as little as po- as little as blood on them as possible. That's yeah. it. That's it. Yeah. Welcome, Kathy. Thank you very much, yeah. guys. It's good to be here. This is our Thank little you. Uh, upmarket, little, yeah. fantastic studio. I've been in worse, I have to say. Really? So, have yeah. You? yeah, they've got little pokey holes in parliament. And they sit you down okay. and they put the camera on and then they, what this last experience, they put a little a post-it note on the wall and they said, look at the post-it note. Okay. And that was where the person was in Sydney that you were talking to. Oh, so you do this okay. sort of so pretend, you looking imagine. at, you, look, you, know, yeah. you have to, absolutely. So yeah. talking in real life, I, have, I say it's got something going for yeah. it. Well, yeah. we are real and we're sitting right in front of you. You so. are, that's right. <laughs> realer than this. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to drink. Brent's in to do most of the questions because yep. we're light on a microphone because there's oh, three. Oh, right. Yes. So okay. you need to ask Kathy why is she here today? So Kathy, you're visiting Wodonga Tafe and what's the purpose? What's going on? Well, there's, the main thing that we're happening is we're having an expo yep. of manufacturing. The manufacturing that's taking place in North East Victoria, Southern New South Wales, mm-hmm. and I'm showcasing it. Okay. So we've got some, some important guests coming and having a look at it. And we've got an opportunity for people to see what each other's doing. So there's yep. networking as well. Yep. And then we're having uh, panels going so that people can talk about, well, what, do, what does government need to do? What do we need to do to grow manufacturing? Mm-hmm. And growing means that already something like 20% of the jobs in this area are in manufacturing. Yep. And we want it to stay that way, like grow new jobs so that there's... Um, people can come and learn how to do it, yeah. but also we've, we're making things for export, we're creating that whole economy that needs to go around. Yeah. And I'm a great believer in making things, so that's manufacturing, that's what yeah. we're doing. Yeah, okay. So that 20% that you're talking about, has, it have, have, has that figure come down to 20% over the last few years, or have we been sitting on 20% No, look, generally? I don't know, I couldn't yeah, say how it's know. changed, but just when I did the statistics to look at it, 20% in the last now, census yeah. it showed 20%, yeah. actually 19 point something. Okay. Because yeah. we've lost a lot of manufacturing from this yeah. region, haven't we, over, yeah. the, over the last few years? Yeah. But there's new there's new manufacturing coming. So while you've lost some of the big the bigger ones, yeah. there's lots and lots of small businesses making things. Yeah. And one of the big growth areas is small business value adding to food. Oh, okay. So for okay. example, so food, yeah. um, we've got Gundaring ice cream down there. Yeah. So they're making taking the, the cream and the milk and making ice cream and selling it all over the place. Yeah. So there's a whole lot of new niche industries coming in yeah. where people in small business, we've got the... Um, Millua, M- Millua region. Yeah, but yeah. I was just also thinking bright chocolate. They make okay. chocolate. Yeah. Ooh, beautiful. And we've got some wineries down there. Yeah. So look, I'm not saying the food's the be-all and end-all, but we've traditionally thought manufacturing was um, steel and metal, yeah. Yeah. which of course it is and that's really important, but there's also these niche agricultural based manufacturing yeah. coming in as well yeah, okay. which I really like because not only does it make beautiful food to eat but it yeah. also gives your culture of um, a, a lifestyle culture that I think North East Victoria in particular yeah. has got. Yeah. We're from creative industries so you know photo imaging, graphic, printing graphic arts, um, fashion, visual arts, um, interior design. What What's your experience yeah, in terms of creative together? industries? You know, yeah. like, are you are you seeing a bit of a um, um, opportunity there for? Oh, look, can I just say absolutely? So, there's something about what what is the future? What's the next ten years going to look like in regional Australia? Yeah. So yeah. traditionally, it was farming, agriculture, yeah. traditional manufacturing. So I think that's going to change. I still absolutely know we need large scale manufacturing, but the change is arts. Uh, food, tourism, yeah. entertainment mm-hmm. that value adds to a very strong economic base. Mm-hmm. So to value add, you need your, um, your... So for the wine industry, it needs its branding. Yeah. And then you need to be able to take the branding and actually do the advertising. Yeah. And the advertising is on, on Facebook or online. So 
it's the sort of the connectivity of these different in, uh, different um, uh, professions and how they work yeah. together. So if you can have agriculture becoming modern and sophisticated and moving into wine and yeah. chocolate and ice cream. And networking a lot more with other industries. It needs so the branding, can, yeah, it needs the ability to sell, it needs the profiling, yeah. and it needs sophisticated and it needs to be jazzy. Yeah. And the same with arts. If we can, We've got a lot of artists living in this community, so the artists need to sell their products. So it's, it's, all, the, it's all the creative industries that yeah. value add to that. Yeah. And so what I really would love to see is the connectivity of all of that together so that North East Victoria in particular, which is my electorate, and you know, Aubrey, of course, too, but we get a reputation of being really leading edge yeah, in the way yeah. we profile our food and sell it, yeah. but within a really lovely... Um, I, don't, I don't want it to be trash, trashy. It needs to be really sophisticated and mm. m meet mm. the market needs, and that takes a lot of work. You can't just do that. Well, it's a global village now, so we're competing, you know, in terms of profile, you know, developing a, a professional-looking yeah. profile. We're, we're, you know, we're competing worldwide now, yeah. so... And I, for example, had a, had a meeting the other night with one of the car a cartoonists because me as a politician, I need to sell my message. Yeah. So how did you do that? So doing the cartoons okay. is really yeah. good. So I'm, I'm a classic um, potential client of the creative industries right. because I need to get my message out to the community and I need the creative industries to say, look, we can help you do this, Cathy, yeah. and yeah. we can do it locally. So, But every um, that's that's me marketing. But all the industries need to, to, need to market themselves and... Mm. The way we market ourselves has changed from last century. We don't do the same thing. We, in this little room, we try and get students to think beyond their course that they're doing here and, OK, what's their place in industry going to be like and what's industry going to look like in the future? So we talk a lot about that. Can you... Do you have, a, um, I suppose, a couple of little things that you would... How would... What would you... What advice would you give uh, a student mm. exiting a creative mm. industries course you know, what sort of skills do they need to be really mm. looking at honing? So, can, just, just, we've, had, we've had some sessions on that today. Yeah. So, one of the traditional manufacturing guys says it's all about relationships. Uh -huh. So, you've got to be able to do your relationship building. Yeah. So, how do you build your relationships? I'll, yeah. I'd like to talk about that. The second thing I reckon the future is going to be about small business. So, ha you need to have your content, but you actually need to have the skills of being in business. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And you've got to learn how to do that. Yeah. And that's about um, getting the admin right, being able to pay the tax, being able to employ subcontract, being able to employ people, doing all the admin stuff. So relationships, skills of small business, and then the networking that goes with that. So you need to ne network into groups. So like often you can't do all this yourself, so you yeah. need networks of associated yeah. groups that you can work. Yeah. So the relationship stuff that the traditional manufacturers have been talking about, the young kids were here from middle years, um, secondary college in Wodonga, and they said how do we get the relationships? He says, you come and visit me. Like, as simple as ringing up, making an appointment, right. going and doing work experience. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Really easy. Second thing about small business, we've got a really good uh, Chamber of Commerce that does excellent small business courses, mm -hmm. but also working with somebody who's already got a small business going so you can learn to do that. And then the third thing is really about um, coming together in networks or portfolios so that you, yeah. can, you can do your bit, but you've got a good relationship with somebody else. Mm -hmm. So maybe an accountant works with an artistic person, works with somebody else. So you've got these yeah. groups of people yeah. who work together. Yeah. That's also recognising that no one person can be everything, I suppose. So mm. you need to net, make sure that you're networking with people who are more professional than you are in a particular area so mm. that you can draw on their skills. And well, they call it portfolios. So yeah. if you're really good at making cartoons, then you need an accountant, you need yeah. a marketing person, you need these. So as your business grows, your network grows. Yeah. So you, And then they create more jobs. So you're actually building these collectives, not quite... Networks is much yeah. more what it is. Yeah. Okay. And then everyone's business grows together. And then you get a hub of a really good accountant who actually understands working yep. with artists. You get a bookkeeper who can do all the bookkeeping work. Yeah. You get an IT okay. maker. And together you make it's enough... Really good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Together you get yeah. enough IT so that there's not enough business, excuse me, for one person, but if you all work together, yeah. you actually make... Five, and then you start attracting other people to come yeah. because you've, got, you've already got this network and more people can come in mm -hmm. and all the different businesses are growing together. Mm -hmm. So it's a, it, it feeds itself, doesn't it? Does it, it the, absolutely does. The process keeps going, yeah. and, and it and, it, and it, um, it makes the participants a lot more enthusiastic because yeah. it's a it's based on relationships rather it's, than. And it's also yeah. based on this this idea of abundance. 
Like there's, there's absolutely enough work to go around. And if you've got a network, you can pass, so you're not competing so much as passing okay, work around. Right, okay. So when you're really busy, you can't do it anymore. You yeah. can pass, so you can guarantee supply for your clients, but you don't actually have to do it all because yeah, you know these other people. Good, yeah. And then as you grow together, yeah. Your, your ability to be better at what you do mm -hmm. and then you build this trust up that people will share and then the accountants get busier and busier and the, the yeah. web designers get busier and busier as it grows. Mm. So that's my ambition for this community is we have these mm. creative arts and we have everybody else having small businesses mm. But we build, we build it and we build it and knowing that there's more than enough to go around and we can do it together. I think that's great too because it, it develops understanding in different um, groups in the community. Yeah. You know, a lot of people don't understand sometimes um, the, I suppose, the ins and outs of, of what it's like to be a, a person in creative industries. And so if there's more and more links like yeah. that, they, there's more appreciation. Oh, okay, you, you know, you, you actually just, do work really hard. And just before you finish, the, the other really good thing about this is it enables people to work to their strengths. Yep. Mm. So the, the, some people say, well, I I'm not really good at this, I better get better. And I say, no, 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 you do what you're really good at and finding someone else yeah. who's really good at something else. Mm. And then you set up that relationship. Then you can become better and better and it's much easier to be, get better. Yeah. It's really quite a hard thing to try and learn a whole new skill just because you should, where there's already an accountant who loves money, let them do that work. Mm. Okay. Very good. Wow, thank you. Excellent. Enough. We clap Thank together you. to finish yeah. it up. Please, right. please. Yeah, you can clap it out. There you go. We Great. can sync. We can sync the thing. Thank you again. Did that? Am I even wearing my mic? Yeah. Did that you, just you happen? Your mic yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. How about how about that, for the viewers? <laughs> We've just had Kathy McGowan in uh, our little room. Yeah, the independent member for Indi. The independent member for Indi, and um, uh, yeah, the, actually there was some. Gold in there. That was that, that was, was a great conversation. I yeah. know she was inter you know being interviewed by two teachers and about eighty dollars worth of Bunnings lighting. Lighting, yeah. But she took that really seriously, and yeah, that's um, that's watch and rewatch stuff. Yeah. that was really good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And it, it it's really good the way that fits in with what we are on about in here, in the yeah. sense that you know we're trying to get students to think about what's going to happen after this. Yeah, you know, build the skills. What sort of skills you, do you, I need to... you got to... the skills, that's good. Okay, you can make a poster or you yeah. can take a photo, that's good. Yeah. Now that's, 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 now you're current with industry, now it's how to participate in, in industry. industry. And that's yeah. your networks, yeah. Yeah. What do you call it? Networks, pockets, portfolios. Portfolios and the whole idea of relationships. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. it's not about, I'm a photographer, oh, now I've got to pay an accountant. It's... Two businesses yeah. that need something from each other. Yeah, working together. That's and, yeah, that's that's. It, I know. I know. We say it, but it's really nice to hear someone in a position of change echoing yeah. it and saying it yeah. louder to yeah. a bigger audience. Yeah, it's yeah. good. It's good. And it's good too because you you know, Kathy talked about the little holes in Parliament where they they interview. Yeah, and you know she. She has to look at, she's asked to look at a post-it, stick it on, on yeah. the wall, as though she's actually talking to someone. And it's kind of, well, this isn't too bad. <laughs> no, 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 she was like, well, this is fine. You know I've got I mean? people it's, and it's a camera. Probably, it's probably a bit bigger than, than yeah. uh, the, yeah. the little rooms that they do. So that's, 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 there's a bit of... Um, Our chairs have cushions. You know, yeah. beanbags. Beanbags. <laughs> yeah. um, so, so there you go, everyone. So that was good. That was good. Um, and look, that opportunity, how did that come about? I went and talked to Katie, who's our event organiser. Yep. She said, what the heck, we might as well talk to Kathy's Minders. Kathy's Minders said, eh, that sounds pretty good. We'll yep. see if the media advisor will go for it. Yep. You saw Simon sitting there. He said, yeah, what the heck, I'll see if Kathy goes for yep. it. Next minute, it's on. she's here. And she mm. said, literally, they said, one o'clock. We went there at one o'clock. They said, we can't do one o'clock. We'll let you know. Something had come up, yeah. which was outside yeah, the control. Yeah. Three minutes past one, they said, we can give you five minutes. Yeah. And we just, well, I just spat my lunch out, and you threw your coffee down the sink, and we ran down here, and we just twiddled buttons and yeah. made it happen. Yeah. And that, that was cool. Mm -hmm. I, I think it was worthwhile. My questions were a little bit too wordy, and when I, I went over the five minutes, and I apologised to, um, <laughs> you know... Kathy's people. Um, no, but, but anyway, I think it was there's good. plenty of gold in there. It was good. There, yeah, there was a lot of good content there. If you're if you're starting out in business, yep. um, and you your you work 
just with us is you want to take some notes. Absolutely. Sign off time. So, this has been another episode of The Sanctuary. Virtual source for your food support. Thanks, Kathy. <laughs> Cheers, Kathy. Beautiful. Thank you.